Welcome back everybody to another amazing banana talk where I don't show you anything worth seeing but you get to hear my lovely voice on the In the Dirt show just for you guys. You know what this one's about? A very controversial banana. I like all bananas so I'm not going to say anything bad about it but very controversial. The Blue Java aka Ice cream banana, aka real Namwa. <laughs> Since you want to go around calling real Namwas false ice cream, yeah. Tell you what, guys, right now, let's get out of the way. This right here is called pairing. It is a perfectly acceptable way of mass planting what they do when they're mass planting bananas. This is how you clean them up and ideally you would leave a little bit more corm on it. I didn't but you know it would be kind of pear shaped and believe it or not yes they root extremely well like this and you do this to clean them up. You dip them in a cleaning solution, antifungal, antibacterial solution and that is how they generally transplant and plant out new banana fields if you don't have tissue cultures. Today, tissue cultures are widely used, but I'll give you a hint, hint. Tissue cultures in the U.S. are crap. Don't get them. Avoid them like the plague. But when they're actually doing things for real and commercially and not screwing over the retail market or you know, us lowly banana collectors, they actually have quality controls and checks. <clears throat> but the companies that do it here in the U.S. don't. They don't care what they send you. They don't care how they tissue culture it. They don't care how many times or how many mutations or how off-label it is. And that's where the issues come in. Once you move into larger commercial plantings and different companies that have incentives to not screw up because nobody will buy from them, you tend to have much, much higher tissue culture plant quality. Here in the U.S., though, it ain't happening. Stay away from them, guys. And that is where we wound up with the situation we are going to talk about now. The Namwa, which is an amazing banana. There are several mutations and sports out there. Great banana. Love Namwas. They grow fast, blah, blah, you know, we're not talking about Namwas. And then you have the Blue Java, the ice cream banana. Why is it called Blue Java, aka the ice cream banana? Well, the fruit does have a nice, lovely blue tinge to it. It really does. Honestly, so do some Namwa lines. Just... <laughs> So don't go, I got blue bananas, so they're the real blue java ice creams. And nope. Some of the Namwas do get a nice blue tinge to them. And they can be very similar looking to the, the true blue javas. But where this all started going wrong, and where it really went south, is there is a very respectable, reputable grower in Homestead, Florida. Okay, great guy. I trust him explicitly, if that's a word, with my banana varieties. All my true to type banana varieties come from him, but he sells bananas. And to do that and to reach various markets, he does tissue culture bananas. And that means he takes his plants and sends them off to the company that tissue cultures them. Okay. And somewhere along the lines, there is a mix up. And he was sent a different plant. And even the plants that he was selling were not the true blue Javas. They were basically tall Namwas and mutations of Namwas and mutations on mutations of Namwas. So, that is what it is. 
And that continues to happen this day. Not just from him, but from everybody. You have sellers on eBay, all these websites. It has never been easier to buy tissue culture bananas. And 99% of them are mislabeled and just whatever the company that tissue culture them happens to be throwing out there that particular day that that reseller happened to come along and buy them. It's a real shame. It really is. But sticking to the blue javas here versus the namwas, that is how this particular mix-up originally started. Namwas were labeled as blue javas and that perpetuated everywhere. All of a sudden, everybody could have the ice cream tasting blue java banana for dirt cheap. Heck, I can go online now and get one for five bucks. A little tiny, you know, mutated plant that ain't even the real type. And heck, today, it couldn't even, might not even be a freaking Namwa, honestly. It could be some Cavendish cultivar, it could be some off type, Mysore type, who, who knows. One of my little side things I like to do is I like to buy tissue culture plants or people give them to me and raise them up. And like, really, this is a this is a cocopo, right? The the patuppy. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I have the real patuppy, never tissue cultured, and uh, or maybe slightly, you know. But and uh, wait a minute, two completely different plants. <laughs> it's just. Uh, I won't even go there. But yes. And that's basically where these mix-ups started. There are Namwa. And there are true Blue Java. They're very similar looking plants. Namwa is much more vigorous. Blue Java. Middle of the road. These guys right here. Which is right there. Are some nice suckers. I'm getting ready to pot up and some paired tops. They're medium vigor. And a true blue java will reach anywhere from 8 to about 9 feet tall, sometimes 10. They're not the tallest. Certainly not as tall as Namwas, which can range, again, depending on the mutations. Even though we're not talking about Namwa. You know, <laughs> 6 to... 15, 20 feet tall for Namwa. There really is a big range. But back to the Blue Java. So, yeah, medium range, medium vigor. Not super vigorous on the Blue Javas. And honestly, not, you know, good looking plant. You know, looks like a banana. Does not stick out plant wise, you know, Namwa's. Again, back to Namwa. It's hard to not compare to Namwa because they're so often mixed up. But good looking plants. Now where it comes in is the fruit. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's where the differences are, guys. Blue Java do have very aquamarine bluey, turquoisey looking bananas. They do. And there's a range to that as well, I've noticed. My personal belief is there are three different blue javas out there. True blue javas. I'm not talking about Namwas. And they're just sports of the blue java. Now the main difference, we'll talk about flavor and everything in a minute. But look at my dirt, you know, for, don't forget guys. In the dirt with, you know, Tifo. Banana talk time. The main difference, if you want to know 100%, if you have a Blue Java versus a Namwa, Namwa have a yellowish flesh to the fruit. True Blue Java, a.k.a. ice cream bananas, are white fleshed. It's that simple, unless you don't have fruit to compare. <laughs> so, they're, they're different colored fruit. And really, if you have the fruits next to each other there's no mistaking them now for taste 
True Blue Javas taste different from Namwa. They do. Namwa can be very dense. A very dense flavored and dense textured fruit. Very sweet. The True Blue Java tends to have a lighter, slightly fluffier flesh. And not as sweet as a Namwa. Now, where do they get ice cream from? Well, I guess if you really eat a bunch of them, you can get... They're lighter flavored. They're not a... The Namwa is a strong flavored banana. The True Blue Java is a light, sweet banana. Low acid. And there you go. All bananas taste pretty good. It's a great tasting banana. Definitely one worth growing. But you will not find a true blue java on the internet or in tissue culture. If you are buying a tissue cultured plant, you are not buying a blue java. And if you are buying a blue java off the internet, 99% of the time, you're not buying a blue java. There are even reputable banana keep you know collectors that unfortunately uh, irks me quite a bit because you know it makes it hard I like bananas and sell them that they go around false ice cream false and play on names to sell bananas and it just messes it all up guys uh. but yes these right here you're not going to be able to tell because they've oxidized over, but another way to tell a Namwa from a Blue Java is the Namwa have a different color, I've noticed, to the quorum. True Blue Java tend to have a snow white, very sticky kind of quorum. Just what it is. Namwas are different. That's all I can say on that. Something I've noticed and dealing with literally hundreds of thousands of bananas and off types and everything over the years. So there you go, guys. You know, ice cream bananas. Do they taste like ice cream? Yeah, they don't taste like ice cream, guys. Sorry to burst your bubble. <clears throat> they do have a light nice sweetness to it that is slightly you know banana-y fruity and yeah you can you pick up that light sweetness which is like it's kind of like the vanilla you get from oak wood you know what i mean that's where they get fake vanilla from by the way guys that's kind of what it is but light much much lighter and it's more of a smell than a taste that vanilla kind of flavor but, you know, you go and compare it to, you know, take a scoop of vanilla ice cream and a blue java. That ain't the case, guys. You know what I mean. But, yes. Delicious bananas. Nice, light, white, fluffy flesh. Sweet. Mmm. Worth eating. Yep. Beautiful. The bananas do get blue-tinged. Greeny blue tinge to them. That's 100% true. They stick out. There's no doubt when you see a blue java, that's what it is. No doubt. Plants, very good on the cold tolerance. Medium on the drought tolerance. Not not good for drought tolerance with some others. Medium there. Vigor is medium. So you're not going to get a huge beast on your hands. So overall, a middle of the road to good banana. Definitely one I would say worth growing because it's good flavored, like I said. Good sized bunches. Again, in between. Not extremely large, but you get a good bunch off of it. Where it comes through is when that bunch is hanging there, and you can see because the shades of the fruit versus the green of the growth, it sticks out really nicely. Really beautiful plants when they're fruiting. So there you go, guys. 
blue Java ice cream, which I am getting ready to pop these up right here in the dirt. Look at that. Beautiful mix. Getting ready to put some blue Javas in there. So yeah, if you are ever looking for a true 100% accurate, never tissue cultured blue Java banana, look my way. Check out the description. If there's info there, you can get one from me. So I'll see you later, guys. This is a much longer video. Sorry for staring at the dirt so long, making you stare at the dirt so long. Love you guys. Grow food. Grow bananas. Because they grow so easily and give you so much food with very little input. That's how it goes, guys. See you later. Keep on going. Keep on growing. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye, guys. When I get some blue java fruit and I got a Namwall bunch, which I always have Namwall bunches, I get 30, 40, 50, 60 Namwall bunches a year because they are so vigorous and so fruitful. I will make a video comparing the two for you guys. Until then, suffer staring at the dirt. Peace out.